What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. So, let's get to the Women's War Game match. The main event for our channel is the Women's War Game match. Now, the men had their, you know, had their match. That was the main event. But we mostly cover the women on this channel. So, this is our main event, right? This is our main event. So, that's why I'm covering this one last. But, um,. Very entertaining match. Great way to start the show. A lot of energy in this match. Um, I thought the ladies did a, bo a great job on both sides. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, it, it was great. And the heels are very, very awesome in this match. Like, the heels definitely had a lot of personality all over the match. And, 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 and did a lot, you know, to kind of spruce things up and all of that stuff. So... You know, we had the team of, uh, you know, on, on uh, baby face side. It was basically baby faces against the heels. Bianca Belair, Becky Lynch, uh, who we turned last night. Oscar, Alexa Bliss, and Mia Yim versus uh, Bailey's team of EO Sky, Dakota Kai, Nikki Cross, and Rhea Ripley uh, in this War Games match. So, the last two entrants were uh, Rhea Ripley for the heel side and then Becky Lynch for... The uh, the fake baby face out and this match was very much dominated by the heels most of, at most of the point, but then uh, Becky kind of gave him like a spark, and uh, I kind of knew I I think I might have said it in my Becky Lynch video last night that I that I was telling y'all that they were gonna win. I said Team Bella um, that they're not gonna have Becky return and then lose so, like this is not gonna do that. So I know some people will look at this, oh, damage control lost again or whatever. No, I don't think, but they were never going to win this match. And uh, I'm going to actually put the poll up that I had you guys vote for right before the match started uh, tonight. Thank you to everybody who voted. It was about, uh, what was it, about 340 votes, I think, at the time. I, I'm, I'm recording this video, so uh, thank you to everyone who voted. 26 likes as well. Uh... And 84% of you, hey, you guys are smart. 84% Team Bianca, only 16% Team Bailey. I'm a heel person, so I always want the heels to win, but I knew in this match that they were not going to win. You know, Team Bailey, this is not their time to win a match on a big pay per view like this. This is not their time. Becky came back. There, like I said, there was no way. It was kind of a revenge thing for Becky because remember, Becky, the last time we saw her is when she got the beats on Raw. Back in August when Damage Control first came. So, it was like a whole little revenge thing. So, let's go to the big spot late in the match. Let's, let's pick it up from there. So, Lynch and Belair uh, placed a table near the corner of the ring. This set up the final spot. Belair placed Kai and Scott on the table while Lynch climbed onto the cage. Bailey tried to follow Lynch. I tried to follow her up there. But Belair stopped her and drove her uh, into the cage with a KOD. It was a nice spot to uh, Lynch. Performed a leg drop style fell, fall from the top of the cage. That put Kai and Sky through the table. Lynch caught, uh, ended up covering Sky and got the three count. So even Rhea Ripley on their side. They still lost the match um, in about 40 minutes. This one actually went... I think almost a minute longer than the men's. The men's was like 38 minutes. The women's was 39 minutes. Um, but it was a fun, fun match. Uh, a lot of weapons in there. Some of the weapons they didn't even kind of use. Like uh, with women, it's a little bit different. Like with, with some of the spots and stuff like that, they don't execute them as good as the men do. So like I think some of those spots you didn't really need. Uh, the women. Like, probably about 80 to 90 percent of the women in the ring work really good matches, like, just in general. Like, they're really good in ring workers. So, you didn't kind of need all of that. But, um, but I think had it not been for Lynch returning, I think this probably would have been Rhea Ripley probably getting a spot late to finish off the, the baby faces. But I knew with Becky Lynch coming back, they were not going to win. But, it sets up a lot for um, what they're going to do next. So, up until this point, Bianca Belair and her girls, they've been kind of, they've been getting the beats, right? They've been getting the beats. Me and Game has helped even things up, and now Becky Lynch comes, you know, 
because it's kind of taking care of the Rhea Ripley issue over there, and then we're trying to see what's going to what's going to happen from here. So, what I'm starting to think now, though, and maybe I'll do a separate video on this. Should I do a separate video on this? I'm thinking about it. But I think Alexa Bliss is someone that I'm keeping an eye on because I think Alexa Bliss will still turn heel. I know that I think they delayed turning her heel. I think she was supposed to turn heel like a month or two ago. They kind of delayed it, but I think it's still coming though. I think they're still going to turn. I'm probably going to do, a, I might, if I had time, I might do a video. It might not be up until tomorrow though, but I think I'm going to do a video on Alexa Bliss turning heel. I still think that's coming. I think now with uh, Becky Lynch back, they can now turn one of them. I think that they, they were waiting for her to come back so that they could turn one of them heel. Because maybe you had Asuka over there with... They were going to try to just keep the three. And then remember, this is, you know, before Nikki Cross came in, they made it like four people on that side. So, but they may they may hold off on it a little bit because now it's four on four on Raw. and see how this is going to go. But I do wonder what's next for the, the ladies. You know, I still wonder if that Charlotte Flair rumor is true that she might be going to Raw. I think it's true now because Ronda has the belt and... I don't see Charlotte going after that one on SmackDown, but we will see because it's interesting right now because you got Liv Morgan over on SmackDown 2, who we haven't seen. That's all I'm going to have to make. I'm going to have to make a video. I think I'm going to have to make a separate video after this. But uh, So go ahead and get this video a like. Hit the like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments y'all got, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, there's a super thanks button below the video. So below the video, there's a thanks button that you guys can see. So if you want to donate directly to Google, you can do that. Or you can hit in my cash app if that's better for you. Um, so if you want to hit in my uh, donate to the cash app, it's on the screen right now. Is uh, The cash app name is Dollar Sign Sack Exchange. You can send any donation to Dollar Sign Sack Exchange. Uh, to the cash app, uh, just like these two dudes did. Rob Smith, he sent a five dollar dono, and Secret Cure with the eighty dollar dono in the past month. Thank you to those two guys right there. I really appreciate it. So, if you guys send any donations, I will shout you out in the channel. And I do want a wrestling donation. I would love to have a wrestling donation on the channel so I could really like show you guys off to the rest of the videos. Y'all know I cover more than wrestling on the channel, so. I would love to show it, show y'all off in front of the other uh, types of videos that I make. But uh, thank you in advance, uh, just even for liking the videos, supporting the channel, continue to watch my videos. I really appreciate all that. But yeah, so Real Ripley pretty much goes back to Judgment Day duties. She'll probably come out of this whole. Uh, I do think. See, one of the things is I still think Rhea Ripley will end up facing Bianca Belair for that title. Um. I don't know when though. See, like the whole Charlotte Flair thing is throwing me off because I know she still got to return at some point, and I still don't know how they're gonna do all of this. But I do think that's her next. I think it's gonna be either Rhea or Charlotte. I think that's Bianca's next. That's when Bianca's gonna lose it to one of those two too. Like I think Bianca's part reign was gonna only be up until either about Royal Rumble Elimination Chamber or WrestleMania. They might have her defended all the way into WrestleMania. I, 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 I can see that. I could definitely see that happening. But, you know what? Should I make a video on that? Rhea Ripley? Maybe I'll make a couple of more after this. All right. If I do, we can, we can do that. Um, You know, I'm going to do a poll. So, I'm going to do a poll. I'm going to do two polls. Alexa Bliss turning heel would be one. We're going to talk about that in the next video. And then the other one is going to be who's Bianca's, like, it could still be Bailey too. You never know. But will it be, I might, I might put Bailey in the poll. I, I think it's an outside chance Bailey gets another shot. Um, I, I definitely think it's either Rhea or Charlotte next. So let me know who y'all think is next between those three ladies. And we'll go from there. But we're going to talk about that probably in a separate video as well. Because I got time between now and Raw to make these videos. So, um, I'm definitely going to get, probably definitely going to do two more after this, man. Really kind of expand this. So, I'll make this video too long because I'm about to end it right now. 
Thank you guys for watching. Afternoon's delight.